Sudden death in young athletes, fortunately a rare event, but it can be due to a host of underlying cardiac conditions. We learned from Dr. Anjan Batra of Children's Hospital Orange County about those heart conditions and preventive measures that can be taken. The first thing we have to realize is that sudden cardiac arrest or sudden cardiac death, it's, it's a very visible phenomenon. Does this always happen in a sports-related event? And when you look at it, there is greater propensity for this to happen during a sports-related event. Why? Because when you are in the sports-related event, you're really pushing yourself. You're pushing every part of your body. You're pushing your heart. Your adrenaline is running. And all those factors can contribute to tipping you over the edge if you are, you know, right on the fence. So the answer is, yes, it happens greater or a greater time, a greater majority of time during sports, but it also happens when you are not in sports. So it can happen in the classroom, it can happen when you're sitting, it can happen at any time. Oftentimes these children will complain of things that may appear subtle, like I get chest pain, not at rest, but every time I exercise. Or I get palpitations. My heart is beating really fast and I can't explain why it's beating as fast as it is. If a child passes out, especially during exercise. So those are some telltale signs, but we also know that this can happen without any prodrome, without any telltale sign. So I think you have to be mindful and try to look for these, but at the same time, be prepared that even if somebody doesn't have any signs, that if such an event were to happen, what to do. The recommendations are that every child should get at least a physical exam by their pediatrician. We should be prepared on how to prevent this from happening, for going from sudden cardiac arrest and preventing the sudden cardiac arrest to ending to in sudden cardiac death. So we want to avoid the sudden cardiac death. For that, I think if we can all be trained in CPR, basic CPR, I think that would go a really long ways. In today's day and age, there has been an emphasis in the school systems for the children to learn basic CPR. And I think a health education class or CPR training to middle and high schools would go a really long way in preventing this, not just today, but for generations to come.